in confidence unless it's against the law. And certainly if a young lady is under 16 right. and she is telling us that she's sexually active with a young man that's over 18, mm -hmm. then according to the law, we have to turn that in. Exactly. But uh, anything else, uh, it's completely confidential. We will talk to her, pray with her, and hopefully help her make good, healthy decisions. Well, you know, realize right even in this area, there's been drug busts. Uh, the police and the law enforcement come in right in their homes, and this little newborn baby laying right in there right around meth. Oh, yeah. And things of that nature. It's terrible. It it's, is awful. They have to take that child and clean it up. They do, and mm. who knows what that uh, long-term effect may right. have on that baby. That's what we, the young people need to realize, that these children are in their care. Right. God gave you that child to take care of. Exactly. And the law even protects that child, so we need to stop and think about what we're doing. And that is strange that our law will protect a child as soon as it's born, but just five minutes before mm. it's born, it's considered... Uh, legal to abort that child mm. five minutes before it's born. Oh my goodness. It's it's terrible. Now I know on a lot of abortions they turn the baby around and have the feet come out first and then it's not considered uh, illegal. Mm. If they take that baby's life while it's still in the womb. Right. Our nation is confused. Exactly. We need to realize that there is choices to make that are so important. And you know, the whole time I knew in my heart and spirit that it was wrong. You know, it's just an abomination in my way of thinking. And yes. Nobody can convince me that it's all right. You know, that child deserves a life. That's right. You know, and I'm so thankful for what you're doing for these young ladies and going out and, and just giving the information. I'm even thankful for you taking the time and being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. We've got about uh, four or five minutes left in the program, but once again, we want to give your address, your telephone number, and uh, where you located in your new location again. Okay. Uh, we have moved out on 25. If you pass Kentucky Fried Chicken, about a half a mile on the same side of the road. We're in the building with Grange Insurance Company. We're on one side, they're on the other. It's across from Northside Supply. Very good. So we, we would love to have you uh, come by and see us. Check us out. If you're a local um, person, we would love to have you come by and check us out. Look us over. Our hours there at the center are 12 to 4, Monday through Thursday. But I answer the phone 24-7. I have the phone forwarded to my cell phone. So I can talk to these young ladies right. any time of the day or night when they call me to help them make that decision. Our number there is 606-523-1113. And we would love to have you call us, stop by and see us. And this baby shower that Greenland is having, right. we would love for, to have you come. Uh, to that baby shower. Amen. It's Greenland Baptist Church out on 25 uh, going toward Cumberland Falls. And we would love to have you come by there. It's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is Sanctity of Human Life Week, January the 22nd through the 29th. Very good. And so each church needs to uh, talk to their people and say, Sanctity of Human Life. This is a very important time exactly. when we need to stop and think about this gift that God gave each one of us. Miss Jenny Sanders, thank, thank you, you for so being much. here. All right. And once again, we want to invite you to tune in next week. It is the Local and Community Issues and Answers.